Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by Pristine Auction. I am Tom Downey. Follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowney for more Cowboys coverage. We'll start things off today with a positive news item around the Dallas Cowboys. David Irving, he has been cleared by Frisco Police after the accusation uh, by his, I guess now, ex-girlfriend that he committed domestic violence against her. So he has been cleared there. There will be no domestic violence charges filed against David Irving. This comes, of course, after the accuser recanted her claim of domestic violence. The case is now inactive, so David Irving, at least from the law perspective, is now in the clear, of course. The NFL, well, we know how they operate. He's not quite cleared on that end yet. We'll take it out to some Cowboys rumors. First up, are the Cowboys going to use kind of a wide receiver committee this year? Now, well, four stars on this one, and it makes quite a bit of sense as well, doesn't it? This comes from Stephen Jones, who more or less said, Look, we don't have a number one wide receiver, although he says there are under 12 uh, number one wide receivers in the NFL. But the reality is with guys like Michael Gallup, Terrence Williams, Cole Beasley, Alan Hearns, and whatever order you want them in, it's going to be a committee approach for the Dallas Cowboys. They're going to spread the ball around. They're, they're not going to force feed targets to any one player. It is going to be a true committee approach. So with that in mind, I want to know from you guys. Who is going to lead the Cowboys in receiving yards this year? Now, you can throw out another name. Maybe you think it's going to be Tavon Austin or Zeke Elliott himself or one of the tight ends the Cowboys have. But the top four options, at least in my eyes, Cole, T. Will, Alan Hearns, and Michael Gallup. Let me know who you think will lead the Cowboys in receiving yards. If I'm picking one, I think I'm going to put my money on Alan Hearns as we sit before the preseason even gets underway. Next up is some Randy Gregory updates for you. And, there are some Cowboys players backing Gregory. Four stars on this one because Tyrone Crawford, Sean Lee, Jeff Heath have all either written or spoken to the NFL in support of Randy Gregory. Tyrone Crawford said he was one of the players who have spoken to the NFL about supporting Gregory, wanting to get him back with the Cowboys. Sean Lee, Jeff Heath also wrote support letters to Gregory. Now we're told his as reinstatement appeal will come in in the very near future within the next week or so, but we continue to wait on that. The deadline is kind of approaching because Cal the NFL typically has to respond within 60 days. Getting close to that time frame, not uh, having any impact on camp. So should be soon for Gregory, but getting support from veteran leaders like Lee Crawford and Heath should be a big boost for his chances. Next up is Jason Garrett not on the hot seat. I'm just going to go ahead and give this one the one star. I think this is not really all that true. I do get where Tim Kalashaw is coming from in this argument. He says that he thinks Garrett's going to be safe for at least another year, even if the Cowboys miss the playoffs, because the Cowboys, as I myself have pointed out, they're kind of rebuilding. You don't lose guys like Des Bryant, Jason Witten, go into a full-on youth movement without saying, yeah, you know what, we're, we're, have we, we have a very young football team. We might have to rebuild for a little bit, but overall, I still think Jason Garrett is absolutely on the hot seat for the Dallas Cowboys. If the Cowboys miss the playoffs, I don't think he'll be back with the Cowboys in 2019. So with that in mind, what do you guys think? Will Jason Garrett be the head coach for the Cowboys in the 2019 season? So in reality, are they going to make the playoffs or not? I don't feel that great about the Cowboys' chances. I'm sorry to say that, but they are kind of going through a little mini, let's just call it a reset, rebuild, whatever word you want to use to describe it. In a tough NFC, I'm not feeling all that confident about the Cowboys. Neither, by the way, is Vegas. They're outside the top six for the NFC. As for some roster upgrades, what about a safety? Could the Cowboys go try and find a safety? I do think it's pretty likely. I'm giving this one three stars. The Cowboys will, in some form, add a safety to their roster. Look, they have Jeff Heath, they have Xavier Woods, and they've got Kayvon Frazier. I still think, I think the Cowboys also agree with me here, they need a fourth option. Now, maybe that's not going to be Earl Thomas. I don't think it's going to be. Maybe it's not even a guy like Trey Boston, but I do think some kind of veteran will be added for the Cowboys to at least compete. No guarantee this player would make the roster, but I think the Cowboys want to carry four safeties. You only have three unless you really think Jameel Showers or Marquise and Huff or Jason Thompson are going to fill that fourth safety role. Maybe it's a guy like Cam Kelly, the undrafted free agent. But I think the Cowboys should add a safety, but again, let me know in the comments section. If you have a particular name, let me know, and I'll respond as well. Speaking on, of upgrades on offense now, what about tight end? Are the Cowboys not going to add a tight end? Well, three stars on this one as well. I do think it's pretty likely that you will see the Cowboys not add a tight end. Now, Jerry Jones says he could change his mind later, but the Cowboys want to let their four young players compete 
to replace Jason Witten and compete for all those snaps. That means Blake Jarwin, Jeff Swaim, Rico Gathers, and then Dalton Schultz, the, the rookie out of Stanford, are all going to battle for that tight end role and all the snaps that come along with it. Now, the Cowboys are not going to replace Jason Witten in terms of production or leadership right away, but they can still get some good play from those tight ends, and that's why they want to let these young players work and develop and give them a chance, as opposed to bringing in someone like a Kobe Fleener or a Gary Barnage. So I want to know from you guys, which of these four players should the Cowboys start at tight end this year? Should it be Blake Jarwin? Should it be everyone's fan favorite Rico Gathers? Jeff Swaim or Dalton Schultz? In terms of pass catching, Rico does bring the most upside, but Jeff Swaim is one who's played the most. I know the Cowboys are high on Blake Jarwin, but I think as of right now, Jeff Swaim is the top option for the Dallas Cowboys. You guys trying to flush out your Cowboys man cave? Well, Pristine Auction is the way to go. They are the premier autograph sports memorabilia auction house out there. They've got auctions all the time, Cowboys gear. I've got my eye on an Emmett Smith signed helmet as well for a surprisingly cheap amount of money. Stay tuned for later in the show. I have a little surprise for you from Pristine Auction. Ch check them out today at pristineauction.com. See it up there on your screen, number six, Terrell McLean to the Cowboys. I'm going to give this one three stars. I've upgraded it, but no reports yet on if he's signed or uh, he hasn't signed yet. So we're kind of sitting here and awaiting and to see what happens here with, with Terrell McLean. One quick update for you. There are contract talks going on right now with McLean. Per Ian Rappaport, there are contract talks. They are escalating. The Cowboys also had a workout with McLean on his visit. So I think it's three stars. I'd be surprised if it didn't go down, but it's not set in stone yet. I am all for the addition of Terrell McLean as well. Taking out to rumor number seven. Here's what we haven't talked about in a little bit. The long-term deal for Zach Martin. It's still three stars, and it's been that way for quite some time. It'll get done, but Jerry Jones himself said there's no real update on when that will happen. He still has doubts that a deal, or he has no doubts that a deal will get done, and both sides are on the, are on the same page there. It'll happen. We just don't know when it's going to happen. The Cowboys want to keep the guy who's probably the best guard in the NFL. Taking out to number eight on our rumor roundup here. Is it going to be a bounce back year for Ezekiel Elliott? Well, Jerry Jones has chimed in and said he thinks that getting rid of the distraction of the, of the suspension is going to be a big deal for Zeke Elliott. So we're giving this one three stars. It does seem pretty likely. And for those of you that have, that have watched all or nothing, Zeke was very much distracted throughout the, the whole ordeal while dealing with that suspension. He wasn't focused at times, and it showed on film. The good news is, even in a, a distracted year, Elliott led the NFL in rushing yards per game. So a bounce back year, I think that's a pretty good sign there for the Dallas Cowboys. And then finally, Dak Prescott. Could the Cowboys make him a $100 million man? Two stars on this one couple of different things that might prevent it from happening. A, you have to assume that Dak plays really well. The Cowboys have said, we're going to pay Dak what he, de what he deserves, and that they have the allotted space in their cap for the future to pay him in that fashion. Where things could go wrong for Dak to be the next $100 million man in the NFL? A, he doesn't play well, and that brings up a whole other discussion about if he's the franchise quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys going forward. Or B, Maybe Dak takes a little bit of a team discount. I don't know if he actually would, but maybe Dak says, you know what, I'll take a discount. We'll pay other guys, pay guys like Zeke, other linemen, the, the defense as well. So the Cowboys, I think, are assuming they'll have to pay Dak the big money if he plays like he has the past two years combined, more so the first year than the second year. But I wonder from you guys, do you think Dak is the franchise quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys? Let me know in the comments section. I know there are some of you that think it's Cooper Rush. We disagree on that, but that's okay.